What I wish I knew about ants in biology class instead of just memorizing colony structures. Imagine if, instead of dry diagrams and endless facts, we'd learned about the wildest secrets ants are hiding right under our feet. Ants aren't just tiny workers. They're full of surprises that would have made any lesson unforgettable. There's a queen out there with a truly mind-blowing trick. Not just a ruler of her colony, but a master of genetic magic, doing things no one thought possible in the insect world. Let's dive in. Meet the Iberian harvester ant queen, one of the most fascinating insects on the planet. She's not just any queen, she's the star of a real-life science fiction story happening in the dirt. She doesn't just lay eggs for her own species. This queen has a secret. Her nest is a birthplace for more than one kind of ant. She can actually give birth to ants from a completely different species, called Mesor Structor. It's as if a cat could give birth to kittens and puppies at the same time. Unthinkable, right? Yep, you heard that right. This isn't a science fiction plot, it's real. And it's happening right now in the wild. Here's the wild part. Scientists found that these queens make male ants by a process called Xenoparus reproduction, a kind of natural cross-species cloning. It's a process so rare it's almost unheard of in the animal kingdom. Instead of just mixing genes like most animals, the queen uses a shortcut that lets her create males that are genetic copies of another species. It's like hacking biology's rules. The queen lets sperm into her egg, but before anything else happens, the egg kicks out its own DNA. The only DNA left is from the sperm, so the baby ant is a clone of the father's species, not the mother's. This is a total reversal of what we expect in nature, where offspring usually carry a mix of both parents' genes. End result? A clone of the other species, born in her nest. The queen is literally raising children that aren't her own species, right alongside her true offspring. Why would she do this? What's the evolutionary advantage of raising another species young? Those cloned males provide the sperm she needs to make hybrid worker ants, half and half blends that keep the colony running. These hybrids are stronger, more adaptable, and help the colony survive in tough environments. This discovery stunned researchers. It challenged everything we thought we knew about how species stay separate and how reproduction works. Some even called it almost impossible to believe. The idea that a queen could create and raise another species' males seemed like pure fantasy, but genetic tests proved it. Half the males in these ant colonies belong to a species that split off more than 5 million years ago. That's like 